Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Eyes. We are just doing a standard run here. Let's random. Eve. We are not doing a standard run here with Eve. I'm gonna exit back to the main menu. I've had it with these monkey flying Eves on this Monday to Friday game. Judas, okay. This could be interesting at the very least. So we're gonna be playing as Judas, Curse of the Labyrinth on the very first floor. And no challenge runs this time. We've done like maybe six or seven challenge runs in a row, and they've had varying degrees of success and failure. Largely failure, uh, because I think I've been, you know, balancing the games, or balancing the um, challenges too much in the game's favor. I've been saying, like, you know, I'm not allowed to do any item rooms, I'm not allowed to do any deals with the devil, etc, etc. On that Meat Boy run, it became very apparent when it was like, I'm not allowed to take any items that did not relate to Meat Boy at all, and found myself promptly getting pretty much fucking killed, as you might expect. So it might be fun just to do some Standard Isaac runs again. Max's head in the first room is fucking awesome, so we have some sweet damage upgrades right now. Of course, I am going to continue to shoot all the fires that we come across right now. It feels like my shots are a lot more weighty now. Sadly, nothing there. And I'm looking forward to, you know, the standard Isaac tropes that we could possibly get into, you know. I don't have a D6, so I can't reroll anything, but it's going to be nice to be, you know, saving money, playing the game as I used to play it, shall we say. The big thing for this is we really have to get out of this first floor. Uh, without dying, and that means we can only take two hits, and this is a room where I could easily take two hits on its own right. Uh, either that or we could find some spirit hearts. There is a tinted rock, however, Bomb Central has decided that today is not my lucky day, so we have zero bombs. You always start with zero bombs as Judas, but we certainly still do have zero bombs. One just mock- oh! Well, there's one bomb. We have some red hearts we can pick up, though, so all is not lost yet. Now, first things first, obviously, we might as well blow this bad boy up, because we're going to get a free bomb for it anyway. In here we get enough health to keep us going, as well as another key. And of course, we are going to come back down here and check out this tinted rock. Oh, where is it? Oh, it must be down maybe even one more room away. Or this one, this one, okay. So we're going to check this out. We're no secret room necessarily right now. We've got bigger fish, fish to fry. Trading a bomb for a spirit heart is basically the bare minimum that you can get out of one of those... Uh, tinted rocks, but still well worth it in our eyes because obviously we are just trying to survive here. Let's see what we've got over here. Single spider, bad luck. Maybe read how Stella got her groove back. And then you'll be a single spider no longer. Can I help? There we go. I hate this layout for a room. Come on. Come on. It's good. I managed to kill it. It was kind of close. I always say dealing with those rooms. If we got another key, maybe we'll open up that golden chest. I like opening golden chests early. Oh, you know what? I want to kill this guy over here. Like, oh, he, he, he's tricky. There we go. And we did manage to blow up that tinted rock, which gave us a second spirit art. So that's a good example of foresight actually working out in our favor there. Sadly, no more keys, but keys are meaningless to a certain extent right now. We need them to go to the item rooms and the shops, but I mostly just need to make sure Judas stays alive. So hopefully these guys don't manage to squeeze out of these diagonals. Sometimes they do, which can be annoying as hell. There's our second key. We're going to fight a boss right away. The reason behind this being, uh, then I can charge up my Book of Belial on other rooms and use it here as well. So this should allow us to tear through Pin pretty goddamn quickly. Looking at maybe like a 10-shotter here. He's already about 30% down. That's four hits. Five hits. Uh, it's going to be more like a 12 or a 13, I think. No need to count them all, I would say. That would just become frustrating after a while. And that'll do it. Okay, so we get an HP upgrade there. Feeling more confident about our chances now. Obviously, we want to make sure that we're going to whatever the second item room is here. Before we do that, we're going to need to actually amass another Book of Belial charge, actually explore the floor a little bit, see what we've got going on. Now here's the question, if we get a deal with the devil, and ain't another HP upgrade first, and then a deal with the devil, do I take it for a mom's knife or a brimstone or, the, or a spirit of the night? Probably. I would love to say that I have the willpower to resist that, but let's be honest, I don't. Our golden chest contains a tarot card, which is death, which is not worth the key that we spent, but at the very least it's not a total loss, it's not like we picked up um, Wheel of Fortune or anything like that, that is a terrible card. In my eyes, anyway, I understand that there are people who recognize that there are differences between their eyes and play and mine, and everybody's opinions, you know, get equal weighting here on the Northern Line show, unless your YouTube name is silly, in which case I will mock it and laugh at you. Ah ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. So let's see what we've got going on over here. Spiders, a white nub, 
end our second item room. Well, it's not our room until we spend the key to get in there, I guess. Now it's our room, and it is the Game Kid, which we're going to skip over. It's not a bad item. I've used the Game Kid to good effect before, uh, but it's also not a great item. And what we really need right now is, you know, either a great item to replace Book of Belial, or a passive item to replace Book of Belial. Well, not replace Book of Belial, to exist in harmony with Book of Belial. Since that didn't happen, we'll just take our spirit heart. That's what you get when you uh, explore all of the floors, or sorry, all of the rooms that you come across on every floor. That was the last room. We knew it was going to be a dead end, but hey, still worth it. So we'll again see if we get HP upgrade from this boss, followed by deal with the devil. I ideal circumstance, HP upgrade, deal with the devil, Krampus. We pick up that lump of coal, and we're just happy with that. We exist with the same amount of health that we've always had, uh, but we just get lump of coal in addition to whatever item we were going to get otherwise. So we're going to be fighting Blighted Ovum here. So Book of Belial has popped. Blighted Ovum's an interesting boss fight because I don't really understand it. <laughs> like the explosions at the end, I don't, oh, oh it's, I forgot that it, it acts as gluttony sometimes. So we did earn a deal with the devil. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, Guppy's Paw would be interesting, Necronomicon would be interesting. But I'm trying to get out of that habit of taking like every deal with the devil unless it's, you know, Guppy's Tail. Or, not, yeah, Guppy's Tail or um, Nine Lives. So instead, we're just going to continue soldier on here, if you will, uh, with a fairly good suite of items. I always love those damage upgrades. We're going to use Death here, because I was worried about those Silkworms getting too close. Our item room contains the Infestation, which gives us the flies that grow inside of us. Interesting combination of items so far, to be sure. Trading a bomb for a key seems like a smart decision for our long-term success. Maybe later, we'll come back and do it again. Um, I don't know what happened there, why that didn't work. Maybe my bombs are just too powerful because I'm the baddest of them all. If you ain't got bombs, then I can't mess with y'all. We do have our boss room here. So, of course, we will deal with that uh, ASAP because we do have our Book of Belial charged up. And again, what am I hoping for? HP upgrade, deal with the Devil Mom's knife is ideal. But at the risk of, like, that would anger people. So instead, let's just say, hey, a damage upgrade right off the bat would be cool. We're going to be fighting Peep here. Kind of a rough draw for the first floor of the caves, but we're going to be doing so much damage, as I barely dodged that shot. Uh, but we're going to be doing so much damage that it shouldn't be a big problem uh, to kill Peep regardless. Book of Belial, Max's head, makes some nice synergy with Kane here. And he'll be dead. You have died. We get meat, so tears and HP upgrade. And again, I say this every time, but may or may not be... Uh, an actual damage upgrade as well. But in any case, Tears upgrade works well for me. Does he? I, I'm the can't be the only guy that thinks this looks kind of like Jeff Gersman wearing a fez. So I was checking half for the secret room and half to just get this key. We do indeed get the key, so, you know, mission not totally failed at least. And with our bombs, first things first, check for secret rooms, because if we find nine cents, the shop might be viable. Uh, we do not. Now I might just want to look out for Tinted Rocks, because it's always nice to have one bomb just kind of like in your collection. So if you ever get real low, you can just use it on a Tinted Rock and bring yourself back to a little bit of health. Bombs and keys dropping like crazy, I always appreciate that. And this is potentially a hard room. I'm, not, I'm doing a lot of damage, but I'm not doing enough to kill the double flies. I guess I am doing enough to kill them in one hit. So that's not so bad. I'm hoping maybe we come across a mini boss that gives us another. Whoa! Da, 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 da. A mini boss that gives us another drop here at some point. We do get another key. Um, TNT barrel. Shoot the TNT barrel! Oh, it's not necessary anymore. So I'll do it at the end anyway. Uh, we have a tinted rock over here, which I will blow up with my bomb. Gonna give us another spirit heart. So, spirit heart wise, we're doing fantastic right now. Certainly not at the point where I would consider giving up all of my red hearts. Oh, come on, you can do it! Ah, we still took some damage there. I, I popped Book of Belial in the hopes that um, I would be able to kill that Silkworm before it hit me. I hate rooms like that. By the way, I apologize again for the keyboard noise. I just remembered that normally I play with the keyboard on my lap now to uh, kind of minimize that keyboard sound. Feels good to kind of be playing a normal run of Isaac again, although I must admit I am having a lot of fun with the challenge runs. It's nice to just be able to turn on the game and get going rather than having to boot up Cheat Engine every time, which... I mean, booting up Cheat Engine is not a huge problem, but sometimes it can be a pain in the ass. Because you're like, okay, I've got to find all of these individual items, and of course... And I don't mean this in a negative way, but people always request, like... Or by and large request these, like, really complicated runs that have, like, 12 items in them. I'm like, okay, I can do it. I don't really want to, but... 
I'll, I'll find all 15 of these items. And particularly the worst one was when I was looking for all the familiars, and then it ended up just not working anyway. So I tested it again, and it ended up not working again anyway. Um, we don't have any bombs. We do have the moon. I can never remember if moon is secret room or item room, so what I am going to do is just be a total pussy and go down to the next floor and then use the moon on that floor. Either way, it'll save us either a bomb or a key, so it's a, a good card, usually well worth the five cents that you might have to pay for it in the shop. Caves part one is done. Let us use the moon card. It is indeed the secret room. Played the slot machine once just to say we've been here. And then we are going to leave. So I really should have used it on the last floor. It shit happens though, you know. Oh, that was I didn't even hit the space bar there. I think I hit X on the keyboard, and that caused Book of Belial to go. The important thing is that's two mistakes in a row. Let's not let it define this run. Let's just let it, you know, be something that happened. It happened! Now we're gonna get over it. We'll see what we've got in our mob trap room. It's double spiders. Always the worst. When you get those red chests in the mob trap room and they're not good because you get, you know, double spiders or double troll bombs and then a wave of enemies spawn on top of it. Anyway, we're okay. I do want to go to the shop because Book of Belial is one of those items that its effectiveness greatly hinges on getting modifiers to help it out. So something like a nun's habit or in particular, you know, battery 9 volts is, is something that can have a great impact on your chances for success. I'm very happy with our base damage so far though. I can't complain about that at all. These are my least favorite enemies to fight on these rooms for sure, but we're going to be done pretty quick. We're just going to do some half circle strafing here to get this done. Bingo bango. Excellent. We get Isaac's head, which is actually a fairly nice trinket. Gives us a familiar that follows us around. It's basically like one of the few trinkets in the game that actually functions pretty similarly to a, a full-fledged item. I mean, there's a lot of trinkets that are actually probably better than full-fledged items, like the Polaroid has the potential to be better than a full-fledged item. Cancer is, you know, as good as something like Odd Mushroom or something. Uh, but, not too, too many actually fall into that category, sadly. That was good dodging there. Sometimes I feel like I get, like, some New Age bullshit going on in my head, and I'm like, man, I think the only reason I get hit in Isaac is because I expect to be hit in Isaac. If I just expect not to be hit and refuse to allow myself to be hit, I do so much better. I don't actually buy that. Sometimes I find those thoughts creeping in. I hope we get a bomb on this room. Well, Spirit Heart, basically. It's the reason I wanted the bomb is to get that Spirit Heart that is probably locked in that tinted rock there. So, again, we're still hoping for bombs, but we never know. Maybe we'll find one in here. Kind of expecting greed, to be honest with you. So I feel vindicated there. At the very least, though, finally, we'll have enough money to go to shops on the next floor. And we can't run into greed three times in a row. I don't think that's ever happened. So I think at least one of these remaining floors will have a chance to actually purchase some items that may be of use to us in the future. So that's going to take us exactly to 15 cents. Always like when that happens. It feels fortuitous. So let's move down and around here. We can't get the chest. We can't get the tinted rock. At some point, we will get another bomb. If only we hadn't wasted that bomb trying to get that key earlier. We'd be sitting pretty right now. And that's a dead end for us with another cent. Sadly, no bombs. Oh, well. We still haven't been to the item room on this floor. This is a big item room, because right now I'd say we're slightly overpowered for the floor that we're on. But that can change quickly. So I'm hoping that we get something that uh, you know pushes us over the edge, but it's also a lot of fun to use. Whenever I have high damage like this, you guys know what I like to get. Shot modifiers, anything like... Um, Mom's Pearl's a good item too, it drops a lot of spirit hearts for us, but I'm going to stick with Isaac's head for now. Um, any kind of tier modifier, triple shot, piercing shot, homing shot, slowing, freezing... Um, we'll see what we got in here. Homing bombs. It's pretty much exactly the same as what I said earlier. Uh, what we will do now that we have five bombs is we'll come back here. I'm starting to rethink this Mom's Pearl thing. That might actually be better for us. I like Isaac's head, but more Spirit Heart drops might be important as we are not getting very much in the way of HP upgrades here. So why don't we come all the way down here. I realize that sounded vaguely sexual and I apologize for it well in advance. Well, I guess not in advance, considering it's already happened. Get out of there! Okay. Almost ended up hitting myself with a bomb there, which would have been incredibly stupid. Here we get another Tinted Rock, which contains two Spirit Hearts, so I don't feel so bad about wasting that bomb earlier to get that single Red Heart. And I wonder if picking up Mom's Pearl actually is what made two Spirit Heart drops instead of... Two Spirit Hearts drop instead of one. I'm not sure. But what's done is done, so let's move on. We'll see what we've got in this boss room. Again, hoping for a deal with the devil and flying, incredible damage, anything along those lines, of course. Now, 
We are kind of key rich right now. And we're doing okay on bombs ever since we got the homing bomb. So it might be okay to bust this open and see what we've got in this golden chest. We get a child's heart. That's not worth it. But, oh well. What's done is done. I, apparently that's the new catchphrase for the Let's Play. What's done is done. We do have little Chad here, which is not going to give us an HP upgrade. May prove beneficial in the long run if it continues to drop red hearts when we need them later on in the game. Oh, it dropped a Spirit Heart on Death too, which might be its most valuable contribution. But anyway, we'll take our familiar with us. Who knows? It could come in handy for a Blood Bank or something. And we get not great items, but I'm going to take this one anyway. Gives us increased damage and I believe increased rate of fire as well. I just want to check out our stats quickly. Uh, damage is good. Range is not so good. Tears is okay. Speed's okay. But damage is great. So let's head down here to the next floor. just want to make sure we're indeed looking at the right screen here. Sometimes Camtasia can freak out. I think we've got an XL floor here, or possibly the pink glitch. Uh, this is indeed an XL floor. Why do we have these three flies around us? Did I get hit on the last boss? Because we do have um, infestation, but still. So I am going to be a little bit more cautious about my keys now, because we can't afford to waste any. That's a teleport, which is garbage. Um, yeah, we really can't afford to waste any, considering we definitely want to go shop in both item rooms on this floor. I'd love to save some keys for the chest, provided we have a chance to get there in the future. Might be a little unlikely. So that's terrible. We are going to buy another key. Uh, but that's a, an awful item room. And that's going to be our last shop, which is, is really bad. You don't need me to tell you that, but... Oh, that was awful, too. Um, bad room for me right here. I just lost my focus for a second. Get it back. That's fine. You're still doing great in, with respect to Spirit Hearts. We're going to try to find the boss room right away. Because, of course, we are going to be dealing with two bosses on this floor instead of just the usual one. Pop this open. We get, uh, well, it paid for itself, basically. We got another key out of it. We wasted a bomb, but the key is is more worthwhile for us now, anyway. Uh, and we're still going strong here. I'm not going to go with the rusty key. I stuck with Mom's Pearl because the Spirit Hearts are probably more valuable for us right now. Going with the Pact was maybe not the best decision. Uh, but it's the decision I made, and we're going to stick to it. And, you know, that's the way Dad did it. That's the way America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so well. It's worked out pretty okay so far. Uh, let us continue moving in this direction. I knew it was going to be a dead end. Just, you know, by looking at the map, basically. Started a sweet chain reaction there. That gave us a chest. This one should die. Yes, I thought one hit. Pop this open. See what we get. Ooh, some good stuff. Lots of money that we could not possibly spend. <laughs> because <laughs> we have the notched axe, which is an item that is actually pretty garbage. Uh, in the shop there. I, I mean, there's probably some situations where the notched axe could be useful. I can't really foresee them. But I'm not going to sit here and argue that the notched axe is garbage. If you have no bombs, it's probably helpful for you. And we should be able to go to the boss trap room here, because we do only have one health now. It's the kind of positive side effect that is unseen. Oh, that's not good. Yep. Um, of, of taking more deals with the devil. Flat Penny's great. Gives us a bunch of keys. Might want to just... Hold on to it for now. We will take the range upgrade, because remember, our range is piss poor. I don't want to use any bombs here. And I don't want to use Book of Belial, because our boss room could be close. And remember, we do want to go, you know, one boss, Book of Belial, three more rooms, Book of Belial. Two more rooms, I guess. Keep in mind, of course, as well, we are still looking for a second item, which could be all the way across the map. Or it could be very close. We're not totally sure yet. Now, I think after this, we have two monstros. Uh, single peep. Okay. Two Monstros, Single Peep sounds like a great album title. I don't know what the band would be. But, uh, sweet album title, nonetheless. Now, don't fall on the creep, and try not to take damage like that, you stupid dongo. And, oh, more damage, okay, but at least we're done with this floor. Or this room, I should say. We're gonna check up here. Blood Bank. This is what I was saying about the, uh, Child's Heart potentially being useful. And we're just gonna basically amass a bunch of keys here. Hopefully by way of the flat penny, which will allow us to um, then go back to Mom's Pearl for now. Because this is going to be our last floor where we can really make use of Mom's Pearl. After that, we're going to have to go back to uh, the Polaroid, which is going to be good because we'll... Actually, if I don't get back to full health, it'll be better. Because the Polaroid will give us permanent invincibility, which might save us a little bit of health in the long term. Alright, so I think we're going to have to live with that, sadly. Let's go back with Mom's Pearl. And we are still looking for the boss room as soon as possible. Again, I'd like to reiterate the reason I am holding one health 
Or, like, I'm not picking up any health, red health right now, so try to make sure the Polaroid works fully for me. Let's see what this pill does. Bombs are key. Eh, it's not bad. We might as well open this golden chest now that we have the key. <laughs> what did that? The flies? I think it was the flies. That's shitty. Somehow I got some red hearts back as a result. Oh, and of course the golden chest just contains bombs. That is silly. Um, but it's okay. Good run so far. Half decent at least. Where the hell is our boss room so that I can execute my plan accordingly? Devil card is good. That's going to give us a ton of damage on a boss fight. Probably save it for mom, if not later. All depends on what we got here, too. The fool card. That takes us back to the spawn. Not really all that useful. Okay, so we got pride. What do I want from pride? A good tarot card. That would be fine. Gives us a tarot card. Hanged man. Not awful. Not great, though. The uh, devil card is going to stick with us for sure. And just don't make any more stupid mistakes. I've lost a lot of damage on this floor that I should not have lost. Or a lot of health, I should say. Damage is still doing fine. Oh, got into some trouble there, but that's okay. You know, taking damage against leapers is kind of my specialty. We still do not have our boss room, and I took some more damage. Just relax. You're getting a little bit ahead of yourself here. Worrying about Isaac Blue Baby shit like that. First thing you gotta do... Let's kill these darn zombies. So we're actually gonna... We have homing bombs, which I forgot, but hey. One bomb was a... Was kind of cost prohibitive. I should not be using bombs for combat, but it probably saved me a little bit of health on this room. So consider it like we traded a bomb for a spirit heart, because I probably would have gotten hit once or twice. Finally, our second room. I still got hit here, which I can, kind of can't believe. I'm running pretty low, so I'm hoping we get something like the relic in here. Oh, well, there's a spirit heart drop. Thank you, Mom's Pearl. Probably, anyway. Uh, and here we get Charm of the Vampire. Combined with Little Chub, or sorry, Little Chad, every time. Uh, we're never going to be hurting for Red Hearts, that's for damn sure. However, uh, Red Hearts are not the issue right now. Blue Hearts are the issue right now. So I could probably take these guys out more efficiently than I am right now. Oh well. Not the end of the world. It could be the end of the world pretty soon. It depends on what kind of bosses I get, if I'm able to take them out relatively easily. The problem is... Against all odds, we never found our boss rooms yet in any of these number of, like, branching paths we possibly could have gone down. It's kind of shitty. The reason it's shitty, of course, I've articulated many times. I wanted to do the, the Book of Belial chain that you can do. And use the Book of Belial for both bosses. Finally! Well, we do- Ooh, that was not good. Um, we have a blue enemy here, which may end up giving us another spirit heart. We have another spirit heart from that tinted rock. We get a key from this guy. That's fine. You know, we need these keys for the chest later. Provided we survive that long, which is a big if now. I do think we have enough rooms. But I also think... Oh, shit. We got some... Okay, so what we're going to do actually is use uh, the devil card on the fallen here. I would have loved to save both of those for the mom boss fight. But the fallen is probably actually harder than mom. Uh, and this is going to allow us to hopefully get a good deal with the devil item here. You know what I'm thinking. Mom's knife. Just don't give me, like, nine lives or something. That's, that would be the worst. Backing it up here. We've only got one Fallen left. Devil card is always, always welcomed. We get Guppy's head. That's not as good as Book of Belial. But it will give us three flies for this boss fight with Mom. I wish there was, like, a Mom's Purse item that gave you two... Um... What was I going to say? Like, the ability to have two spacebar items. That would be dope as hell. Like Guppy's Paw and Book of Belial. Oh, that was bad dodging, but we made it safely out. Um, Guppy's Paw and Book of Belial would be awesome as hell. Obviously impossible, but awesome as hell nonetheless. So just back it up a little bit more here. Keep it up. Mom's going to be dead like right now. Well, very shortly right now. Uh, we get HP upgrade, which we may or may not want. I'm going to take it. We also get Polaroid, which we have to take. And we'll head down to the next floor. So again, not a great run, not a bad run so far. Mom's heart is pretty much an inevitability at this point, I think. Unless we run into some truly awful rooms. But we haven't really gotten much help from item rooms so far. I mean, the, the extra damage has been good. Keep in mind, a lot of that has come from the deal with the devil that I took. Well, some of it anyway has come from the deal with the devil that I took earlier. And really, the best thing the game has done for us so far on this run is give us a nice supply of spirit hearts that I am now exhausting. 
And remember, we are unlikely to get too many more spirit hearts, because the reason we got so many in the first place, combination of blind luck, as well as the fact that, um, of course, we had Mom's Pearl, which increases spirit heart drops, whereas now, we have the Polaroid, which does not increase spirit heart drops. As much as I would love it to, it does give us permanent invincibility, but we're not really tailored in the right way to make good use of that right now. Now, I do have to start using Book of Belial on rooms now, because we know we're just going to come across bosses one at a time, since we are in the womb part one. And we know we're going to have a long time between boss fights. So whenever I run across a difficult room, I shouldn't be hesitant to use Book of Belial. This is not a tough room. But I still took damage on it. The womb has been kind of a, a bad floor for me lately. I don't know why, but I've been, I've been having some serious problems. Now, our spirit heart supply is basically gone. This is what I get for saying mom's heart is basically an inevitability, I guess. Where is the... There we go, thank you. You're not dead yet? I fucking hate this enemy, man. Where are you? Thank you. Die. Finally. One bomb for two bombs. Fair trade. So we'll take that, and we'll continue moving out here. Fistula shouldn't be too much of a problem. Might be Book of Belial already. Who knows? There's no reason why not to, I guess, because we're going to charge it up so fast anyway. We are able to kill these guys in, like, one hit, so... I think it was worth it. Might have saved us a little bit of damage in the long run. A little bit of health in the long run, if you will. This room is another room I, oh, fuck. I would love to use Book of Belial on, but I'm sadly incapable of doing so. And now we're playing, uh, you know, normal Judas style. Two hearts on one of the last floors in the game. Not a perfect situation, but hey, Rivers Cuomo be damned. We can do this. Can you come around this wall or something. Thank you. Book of Belial is ready. I'm starting to feel like we're on a good path for our boss room, so I'm not going to use it again yet. I guess I killed one of the jumpers. I didn't even notice. Lots of red heart drops, in case I get low on the way to the boss fight, I guess. Okay, just got to dodge the shots from these guys. And of course, these bombs are going to come in handy, because we don't really have any other better way of fighting Mom's heart. There is our... Boss room, thank you very much. We could die in one hit here. So Book of Belial is a must. Although I just realized we do have our boss room coming up. So I'm basically gambling on the fact that this room is going to be more difficult than our boss room. Or I could go back and fight in a couple rooms, but it's not worth it. We do enough damage on our own. We have bombs. We can do something here. Ah, uh, it's Conquest. This is kind of a hard fight. Now I immediately regret that decision. Just don't take damage early and you can survive this. Just want to make sure, like, I'm playing it as cool as a cucumber here. My thinking basically being, come on, homie bomb, yes, uh, that if I can survive, you know, until halfway through the fight or so, my confidence will allow me to continue to do better. It's the damn beams from heaven that are going to be the big problem, though, as you can see right there. I might lose on the, I might very well lose on this fight. As long as I don't kill myself, I won't feel too awful about it. Up. So far, so good. It's totally the fucking beams from heaven that are gonna get me killed. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa! Come on! I tried. Conquest looks so angry. In any case, thank you guys for watching me fail miserably on the womb part one. Good god. That was fun though. It was nice to be able to play a non challenge run for a while, but I will get back to challenge runs. As always, continue posting your suggestions for challenge runs. Man, it's been kind of a. Bad luck spree in Isaac Lady, but continue posting your ideas for challenge runs and I will take a look at them and see you guys next time.